According to Albert Bandura, reciprocal determinism is the concept that states a person's behavior is both influenced by and influences a person's personal factors and the environment. Bandura suggests that a person's behavior can be conditioned through the operant conditioning, use of consequences like reward and punishment. He also believes that a person's behavior can impact the environment. So it is not just that you are influenced by your environment, but you also influence the environment around you. Each impacts the other. Still can't picture it? The next video will clear it up for you. In this video, since the character lost his parents, people have been ignoring him. We can consider this an environmental factor since they cause him to feel lonely. He starts to think that being a bad student will get people's attention. His beliefs and feelings are personal factors, and these factors led him to misbehave. And this can still go on the other way around. If he is acting bad, people will continue to avoid him, which then makes him feel worse and misbehave even more. Hmm, more examples. If you love playing piano, you will practice piano more often. You will also go to piano class, sharing your interest in piano with other students makes you love piano even more, and so on. An aggressive child usually makes trouble at school. His parents are not happy and gives him lectures to change his aggressiveness and his behavior at school. In short, reciprocal determinism is basically saying a person's behavior both influences and is influenced by personal factors and the social environment.